Hello everyone. Welcome to Engineering Drawing Tutorial Course Code UITN ME204. I am the Rakesh, Assistant Professor in Department of Mechanical Engineering, Kids Warangal. In this video lecture, we will discussing about uh, one problem in projections of play. I have taken this problem from Engineering Drawing by Endeavor Textbook, Exercise 12. That is projections of planes. Uh, page number in Endeavor Textbook is 269. Coming to the problem, the problem number two, a regular hexagon of 40 mm side has a corner in the HP. Its surface inclined at 45 degrees to HP and the top view of the diagonal through the corner which is in the HP makes an angle of 60 degrees with the VP draw its projection. Dear students, first you need to identify the given plane. The given plane is regular hexagon. You can see here. This is the regular hexagon. That means all sides are equal. Uh, regular hexagon having six sides. These six sides are equal. The each side length is 40 mm. We know that these are the edge and uh, this hexagon having six corners. You can see this one, two, three, four, five, six. Any one of the corner in the HP and its surface this surface uh, makes 45 degrees to the HP so you need to keep this one corner and you, you need to lift other diagonal corner this makes 45 degrees to the HP this is the in second position uh, before going to consider second position first you need to uh, you need to assume that this <coughs> regular hexagon, this surface is parallel to HP and perpendicular to VP. Here, uh, he is given that one corner in the HP. So, these two edges, you can say these two edges are parallel to HP. And keep one corner in the HP and lift another diagonal corner. That it makes 45 degrees to the HP. Okay. Coming to the uh, construction, first draw the XY line. Already you know that uh, how to construct a regular hexagon. That means the two edges are parallel to uh, XY. Uh, you, you can take your engineering compass. Uh, let us take 40 mm radius. With the help of this 40 mm radius, you need to construct one circle. Here the plane is parallel to HP, so you can take engineering compass, 40 mm radius, draw one circle. Here, these two edges are parallel to XY. So, for constructing uh, this diagonal parallel to XY, you need to draw one horizontal diameter for this circle. This, this diameter is parallel to XY. Then, uh, same radius, uh, this left, left end uh, diameter as center, draw the arc above and below on this circle. Now, change the center. Now, this has center, draw the arc above and below the below on that circle. Uh, these are the six points. You need to join these six points. You can get regular hexagon. Now give the notation. I am giving in the counter clockwise direction because when you are seeing uh, uh, fra top, when you are seeing front view. First A is visible, then B is visible, C is visible, D is visible. 
after d e f these two points are invi invisible so that's why i have taken in the counter clockwise direction now give the dimension for regular hexagon the edge length is that means side is 40 mm these two are extension lines this is the dimension line and and right 40 mm in the center of this dimension line now draw the projectors from each and every point to the x y line because uh, one corner in the hp so you, uh, you no need to take uh, above x y line because he, here he directly said that corner point in the hp so you can draw the projectors up to x y line b f c e d this is the initial top view now identify the initial front view points this is the a dash point when you see from this side b point is visible f f point is invisible so you can write b dash of f dash uh when you see from this side c point is visible e point is invisible so you can write c dash of e dash this is the d dash point now draw the line from a dash to d dash this is the initial front view for the given problem the second stage its surface that means this surface inclined at 45 degrees to the hp this surface inclined 45 degrees to the hp one corner in the hp and lift another corner this surface uh, makes 45 degrees with hp so you can keep one point on this xy line here the plane inclined to hp that is theta equal 45 degrees and perpendicular to vp you can keep one point on this xy this is the a dash point now draw the 45 degrees line now take your engineering compass measure a dash d dash length a dash is center draw the arc on this 45 degrees line this is the d dash point similarly take engineering compass measure a dash c dash length a dash is center draw the arc on this line locate the point is c dash of e dash similarly measure a dash b dash length a dash is center draw the arc on this 45 degrees line this point name is b dash of f dash this is the second front view now draw the projectors vertical projectors from each and every point a dash b dash of f dash point c dash of e dash point d dash point similarly draw the horizontal projector from initial top view from e point next from e d points b and c points now locate the intersecting points for second top view here a a dash this is the a1 point uh, you can observe that here initial front view notation and uh, second front view notation both are same because uh, length is same so that's why i have mentioned that initial front view and second front view notation are same here i am changing the notation for second top view because uh, this is the red uh, this is changing uh, here shape is modified or changed due to inclination with hp so that's why i am taking a new notation that is a1 <coughs> next b horizontal projector b dash vertical projectors this is the b1 next c horizontal projector c dash vertical projector that is c1 next d horizontal projector d dash vertical projector this is d1 
Next, E horizontal projector, E dash horizontal projector, vertical projector that is E1. Next, F horizontal projector, F dash vertical projector that point name is F1. Now join all those points. We get uh, reduced regular hexagon. The third stage is top view of the diagonal making 60 degrees with the VP. Here top view of the diagonal means A1 D1. A1 is the A1 D1 is the top top view diagonal. This diagonal making 60 degrees with VP. On XY you can take one point, draw the 60 degrees line. Now locate uh, this diagonal points A1, D1 on 60 degrees line. This is the A1. Here I am taking uh, same rotation because uh, 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 we are uh, rotating same shape uh, 60 degrees with VP. This is the A1. Now take your engineering compass, measure A1, D1 length, mark on this 60 degrees length. From A1, draw the arc on 60 degrees line, you can get a D1 point. Uh, just you need to reconstruct this second top view. Uh, with rest. Just you can uh, reconstruct this second top view right here. Here I am telling very easy method. Uh, this is the arc method, you can take engineering compass. First locate uh, A1 point, next measure a1 d1 length from a1 center draw the arc on this 60 degrees line locate d1 point for locating these remaining four points just you can see here uh, a1 f1 equal to a1 b1 equal to c1 d1 equal to d1 e1 so that's why um, taking any one of this length either a1 b1 or c1 d1 or d1 e1 or f1 a1 a1 is center, draw the arc to the left side and right side of the 60 degrees line. First right side, next left side. Now change the center, D1 is center, draw the arc to the left side and right side. Now you can take uh, A1, even A1 radius or you can take D1, F1. Either A1, even A1 or D1, F1. Now, D1 is center, cut these two arcs, previous two arcs, one to the right side and one is to the left side. Now, change the center, A1 is center, cut these two arcs. Uh, now, look at the points, this is the B1, this is the C1, this is the D1, uh, E1, this is the F1. Now, join all those points you can get uh, this third top view. Okay, after reconstructing this top view, now draw the vertical projectors from each and every point to final front view. First, from A1, draw the vertical projector. Next, B1, C1, D1, E1, F1. Similarly, draw the horizontal projectors from each and every uh, second front view points. A1, next B1, uh, C dash, A dash, B dash, C dash, the last one is D dash horizontal projector. Now, identify the intersecting points. A1 vertical projector, A dash horizontal projector, that is a1 dash A1 dash point. Now B1 vertical projector, B dash horizontal projector. This is the B1 dash. Next C1 vertical projector, C dash horizontal projector. This is the C1 point. C1 dash. D1 vertical projector, D dash horizontal projector. This is the D1 dash. Next E1 vertical projector, E dash horizontal projector. E1 dash. 
the final point F1 vertical projector, F dash horizontal projector. This is the F1 dash point. Now join all those points in the sequence manner. A dash, A1 dash, B1 dash, B1 dash, C1 dash, C1 dash, D1 dash, D1 dash, E1 dash, E1 dash, F1 dash, F1 dash, A1 dash. This is the final front view for the given problem. This is the final front view and this is the final top view for the given problem. I hope uh, this problem is very clear to everyone. Thank you for watching. Please uh, do like and subscribe my channel for more updates. And also share to your near and dear friends.